Hi friends, today we're going to be talking about how to do a mail merge on a Mac. So if you're not familiar with mail merge, it's a super helpful tool if you need to send a kind of a customized message to a list of patrons or customers or friends, family, whatever. Uh, so for instance, I have this sheet up, as you can see. Um, I have two columns, one with a first name and the second with an email. And as you can see, these are fake emails and fake people. So uh, don't try contacting them. These are just as an, as an example for this tutorial. Essentially, what I want to do is send all of these people a customized newsletter, which I have pulled up right here. This newsletter is, again, just an example. I want to send these people a little uh, message about how to mail merge. So I have two fields on the letter, as you'll see, that, uh, that say friend right up top here and then down at the bottom here. What I want to do is customize those so that instead of saying friend, each person sent the message, uh, it will show their name in the, re in the received message. So what we want to do is essentially pipe in this information to this document as we send it. And uh, Microsoft Word let lets you do that really easily. So you're going to need three programs to mail merge. You're going to need Microsoft Word, Microsoft Outlook, and Microsoft Excel. Now you might be able to use third-party uh, number or, or word um, processors, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to use Microsoft products. And let's get this thing started. Uh, one thing to note is that if you use Mac Mail, you might have to go in and go to the accounts and actually uh, deactivate any account as a part of that email system. I've run into some troubles in the past, so I just I just do it now just to be safe when I go to, to merge mail. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate all those. They are deactivated, and we will get out of Mac Mail. Perfect. The other thing you're going to want to do is go to your Outlook, and this button on the Tools tab, it might be somewhere different depending on the year of Outlook you have, you want to uh, toggle this offline. You don't have to, but uh, this is very helpful because it sends all of the email messages to your outbox so you can double check that they're correct before sending them out by turning this back online again, or you can delete them if, you're not, if they're not correct and start over. So we'll just minimize that for now. Let's go to our newsletter document. So, as you can see, I've built this just as a kind of standard newsletter thing off a Word template. Um, one thing to note, it's really important to build this in the actual uh, mailing section because as you'll see, when I go to start a mail merge and say email messages, see right now it's on normal Word document. When I say email messages, it's going to totally mess, mess up my formatting. So I suggest going to this mailings tab and starting that mail merge first before you build anything because uh, as you'll see it just looks horrible for now. Uh, now. But uh, for this example we'll just go ahead and use it because it doesn't really matter. So what we want to do is we want to select a recipient list. So we'll go up here, use an existing list, and then we'll just find that list that we created. It's going to be on my desktop. It's called friends list. We'll say open. It'll give you all these dialog boxes and you'll just have to click through all of them. Um, okay, okay, allow, you know, et cetera, so on and so forth. It's kind of a slow process. Perfect, now we are ready. Uh, so what we want to do is double click this friend and we want to say insert merge field. And we want the column from the Excel file that's name. So we'll say name and we'll go down here and say name again. So as you can see, any column on the Excel file you create can be piped into this document. If you wanted a column that has last name, or if you wanted a column that had a patron's address, or their favorite color, whatever, you can pipe anything you want into this document. Uh, you'll see that it also has the email, and we're going to use that in a second. So the cool thing about this is you can actually preview how it's going to look. Hit the preview button. It's going to say Brad. Hello Brad. So long Brad. And we can sort through these, Meredith, Troy, Scott. So it's looking pretty good. Now that it looks pretty good, let's go ahead and click finish and merge and say merge to email. Uh, under the two, we want to say email and then subject, you know, create something, uh, newsletter, mail merge, yay. Uh, let's fix that. 
um, and then we want to send it as an HTML message. It's just a cleaner, more professional looking method to mail these out. So then we'll mail merge to Outbox. And this is going to take a few minutes here. You'll see it populating my Outbox down here. And as you can see, it didn't actually populate anything because the addresses aren't accurate. So if I used uh, if I use a different address or real addresses, then it would actually populate. And let me just give you an example of that right now. What I can do is I can go to, uh, we want to share, send HTML. It'll show you the preview right here. And it'll give us the option uh, to specify who that's going to. So, and it'll say, you know, Scott, because we already piped in that information, but you can change that. So that's essentially how you mail merge. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment. Uh, if you want to see any other tutorials, let me know. I'll be happy to help.